mistakes. Hey everybody, it's Joanna. Um, as you probably know by now, uh, around 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I got the call from Wisconsin to come out for a liver. So, long story short, made the arrangements booked it back down to Sacramento. I literally just came back up here from here today. I, I made the flight, or I booked the flight, and uh, my mom's coming with me. She's flying with me. Christian will come out when my mom has to go back home. Uh, he drove us down here, and he's going to drive us to the airport in the morning. So, it's it's been a long day for everybody, needless to say. Um, I look a bit raggedy right now. But that's because I just took a shower and didn't think to bring my hair dryer for my hair. Um, but that shower felt good because it's going to be the last shower that really I get to take by myself for the next who knows how long. So what the deal is, is uh, our flight leaves at 6.30 tomorrow and I'll get into Wisconsin around 3. Um, three o'clock central time, which will be one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And from there, we go straight to the hospital and I check in and I start getting prepped and ready and all that kind of fun stuff. So the next next time I get to wash my body, it will be a surgical scrub down, which is probably not the most fun. But I wouldn't know. So, yeah, so from the airport, I go straight, or straight from the airport, I go straight to the hospital. Um, pretty much once I get in the car tomorrow, if I go to the airport, I don't, um, it's not gonna, it's gonna be nonstop. And I'm really, I'm gonna try and vlog through it. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone for this, for this video. So I apologize for the quality and the shakiness and, and whatnot. But that's basically what's going on. I'm, I'm really stressed out. I'm going between moments of crying and moments of laughing and just moments of being calm and okay. Um, when I got the call, I was by myself. I was in my car, just got to Mount Shasta, um, coming back from SAC. And I looked down at my caller ID and it's Wisconsin and I was just like, oh god, okay, right now. So, uh... Yeah, I was, I was by myself for the first hour, which is no one's fault. Um, it was just circumstance. It's sucky circumstance, but it's circumstance all the same. So, we booked our butts down, back down to Sacramento, and now I'm sitting in the, in a closet in Adam and Tanya's house, because it's a quiet spot, and it's a good light source. So yeah, this is this is where the journey begins. I guess I'll pick this back up in the morning. If I, I'm probably not even gonna sleep tonight, but I'll let you know in about four hours, because it's like past midnight right now. All right, good night, you guys. <sighs> it is 5:30 in the morning and we're at the airport and we're just waiting to board our flight in about 25 minutes so <clears throat> yeah i'm surprised i could eat this morning when i woke up i couldn't even i could barely keep down water I'm so nervous good news is i got maybe an hour of sleep last night normally i don't sleep before flights so that's <laughs> good news Ah, uh, goodness. So, just a little update from the terminal. Uh, uh, I'm still nervous as hell, but I know I'm gonna be okay. I'm surprised my hair dried as well as it did, being that I slept on it as crazy as it looked last night. Yeah, I don't know when I'll be back in California. And my life is changing forever. Well, we're sitting in the Minneapolis-St. Paul terminal, waiting for our next flight. Our next flight goes over to Madison. Um, I talked to my coordinator as I was getting off the last 
plane and uh, I told her I was terrified, which is something I've been telling all of you. I'm terrified, but every inch of my soul wants to crawl out of my body and run. I'm terrified. And she told me that I should be and that I have every right to be. <laughs> and that if I wasn't, then there would be something wrong. And, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm excited not to have all this craziness inside my liver anymore. You know, but, but what we have to keep in mind is that just because it's out of my liver doesn't mean it's out of my lungs and my spine and my skin. A liver transplant doesn't get rid of the cancer. It just gets rid of the worst part of the cancer. So, yeah. That's this little update from Minneapolis. And I'll start vlogging again when, when uh, we land in... What's it called? Madison. Oh my god. I'm so tired. <laughs> tired, you don't even know. Tired. Now here I am on my way to the hospital in the car, totally interrupting Ellen and Mom's conversation with my video taping. Um, we'll just talk anyway. And I know, I know you will. Just, I'm talking. I'm she's... talking to my camera. <laughs> oh, um, oh, she's videotaping. We have to figure out how this kind of things are going to say so. Oh, lovely. Um, so yeah, that's that's the step we're at now. I'm, I'm straight going straight from the airport to the hospital and checking in. So I, there's no break there's really it was just kind of like there's no settle time I guess is what I'm trying to say it's it's just go time it's go time go time um it's like 320 uh, I'm here for liver transplant. Liver transplant. You said, what was your first name? Joanna. Okay, so while I have a moment, this is the last video I'm going to do in this before I try and stick these together and upload it. Um, I'm in my room. I don't know when my surgery is going to be. It's either going to be tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, the room I'm in at the moment has a really, really pretty view. But it's not probably going to be my room post surgery, so I don't I don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it's been nonstop since we got here, admitting and blood work and stuff, and um, yeah. So I this is the last video I'm posting before surgery. Um, I'm hoping to vlog on the actual camera um, after this, uh, and I probably won't be able to get a whole lot. Uh, just because things go quickly and there are things that can't be said on camera or shown on camera, HIPAA laws and bulls, you know, all that, all that stuff. So, yeah, so yeah, just, um, I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. You're amazing. Um, I'm pretty nervous. Um, thank you for being there for me. I love you all and I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, one last thing before I go. I know I said that was my last video, but I found out what time my surgery is going to be. Obviously, I'm in a gown now, and uh, I've had 
had things done. I've been poked with needles and had sticky things put on me. Um, my surgery, however, is not going to be done until 5 a.m. tomorrow, the 25th uh, Central Time, which will be 3 a.m. California time, Pacific Standard Time. It's 5.15 right now p.m. As I, as I record this, and I'm just tacking this on to the last, that end of the video, so you guys can know that information that I gave you. The room is still the one that I was in. Um, it probably won't be the same room that I recover in after surgery, unless there's just a weird chance of that happening. Surgery is going to probably last around 8 to 10 hours. And yeah, so that's that. All right, you guys, thanks again for all the support and love, and I will see you in the next vlog whenever I get that up. Bye.